Hey, it's Carl with Agent Branding and Marketing, and today I want to tackle the question, why are some of your insurance agency reviews not showing up on Google? Now, this is a common thing we hear from agents when we talk with them. I've got some reviews that, for whatever reason, aren't showing up. You know, first place we want to start is Google is always looking to improve their platform. And so one of the things that they are doing is they are trying to get a better quality of review in those reviews. And so sometimes you may be dealing with just a change in Google's uh, fundamentals. But more than that, there's a couple of things we want to point to. And I'm going to give you some, some bullet points here uh, that can help you make sure that those reviews all show up. First of all, is the review flagged as spam? And Google uses both algorithms and human moderators to determine that uh, reviews are legitimate and they're not spam. They're not auto-generated. They're not part of a spam program uh, that puts in uh, those reviews. Now, one of the things that happened uh, you know, a number of years ago was there was a what's called a black hat SEO tactic where people would go out and leave bogus reviews on a website pointing back to whatever it is they were promoting. Uh, second thing is the review contains embedded links. Uh, Google doesn't want to see links in reviews. They just want a legitimate review. This was my experience. This was the quality of service that I received, and here's my rating for that. The review is considered fake. And that's when it's somebody that really hasn't done business with you, and it just doesn't look legit. It looks uh, out of place. Those are going to get flagged. The review was submitted at a time when Google reviews were temporarily, excuse me, temporarily disabled. And uh, there are times when Google's making platform updates that maybe that review uh, is not available to get posted, uh, or for some other reason it just doesn't get posted. Um, the business profile is inactive. Make sure your business profile has been claimed, that it's live, um, that it's staying updated on a consistent basis. The review is too old. If the review is uh, not really relevant, it's not current, uh, Google may remove that. They want what's new. They want what's fresh. This is a reason why we always uh, advise our clients, try to get a new review every two weeks. Try and make that your pace. Uh, if you do that, Google's not going to have any concerns about how fresh your reviews are. Um, the reviewer's account is inactive, and this is not uncommon. People, uh, on a couple of different scenarios, uh, one is that just they're not using that Gmail account anymore. Um, another scenario is it was a bogus Gmail account set up to go leave fake reviews, and in that case, then uh, it's gonna that review is going to be wiped out. Uh, but that's another one. If it's an inactive Gmail account, an inactive user, they're leaving a review, Google questions the integrity of that review, and they may remove that review accordingly. Um, the business is not yet verified on Google. I mentioned this a minute ago. It's important that you take ownership of your business, make sure it's verified through Google, that you've gone through all the steps, and that it is an active business profile. Um, the review is not in the... Uh, language of the business being reviewed uh, of the home country. Um, so make sure that if you're an English-speaking business, your reviews are in English, um, you know, so that things match up. Again, this was something that was done uh, as a spammy black hat SEO method a few years back, so we still see a few of those. Um, the Google business profile has a duplicate. Um, some businesses move or something changes in the business, and instead of deactivating the old one, they set up a new one, and now you have two business profiles out there. Um, so be sure and shut one down. Uh, whichever one is not valid is the one you need to shut down. Uh, the review is not associated with the correct business. You'll see this sometimes. Somebody uh, all up in arms because they had a bad experience somewhere and they post it on the name of a company uh, that's similar or an agency that's similar. So uh, that may be an issue. And then there may be just an insufficient number of reviews uh, to bring validity to the business. And so we want to make sure that we deal with that as well. 
Um, always be asking for reviews. Make it easy for your customers. Uh, one of the things that we have our clients do is use QR codes, use uh, links in their email signature. Always, always, always be asking for new reviews. And then uh, a couple of things beyond that, make sure that your reviews are good quality. One of the things we've seen recently is if somebody has just left you stars uh, but has not put any dialogue under that, Google is likely to wipe out that review because there's no content. There's nothing of any value or helpfulness in that review. So one of the things we encourage you to do is ask your clients to write a sentence or two about their experience with you and what services they're using. The second piece of that is always make sure you respond to reviews and that you also write a couple of sentences. John, thank you for leaving your review. We're glad to be your auto insurance provider and uh, appreciate having you as a customer all these years. That's a great response to a review. So just make sure that you're putting some thought, some effort, and some content into those responses as well. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful. If you have not scheduled a strategy session with us, be sure and do that. You can do that on our website. We'd love to work with you on your marketing and look forward to talking with you soon.